Okay, um, Jiang says, uh, Hi Kay, what is the reason that made you change the chart from green, red, to white and blue? Uh, that's a good question actually. So I changed the colors of the candles uh, from uh, red, green to red to white and blue is because so that I don't get biased towards the market by color. Like usually red is means aggressive or offensive and green is like a you know more like a good sign relax or hold back or stay away type of uh, type of a uh, color uh, information so whenever I see red candles when it when the market goes down I didn't want to look for a selling opportunity because red means to stop in traffic signal so whenever I see g the market goes down and all the red candles, I was a bit scared to be in the, be in the trade to sell um, because of the color. So I have lost opportunities to sell and make profits psychologically and consciously in the markets. And same is true is green. When the market's green, like this way, when it goes up, and when I see lots of green candles, I feel I feel uh, more confident that the market may go up continuously. So uh, I may rush to the markets. I may jump into the markets when I see all these green candles, and um, I made some losses because of this. So that's why I have now all white and the blue candles. Um, I actually put white and blue candles on the screen on the YouTube because of the explanation explanation uh, reasons. If I want to trade, if I want to see charts manually by just myself alone, then I would prefer to color the candles in all white, like this. And then I would like to analyze because if I turn all the candles white, then I don't have bias. I don't have color bias for the market. So, but still, you can take trace. You don't have to. You don't have to know if this is bearish or bullish. You can actually tell when you look at the charts, and uh, that gives you more wisdom to the price actions, to the candlestick patterns. To the, and to the breakouts on the support resistances and the trend lines together with Ichimoku lines. So when I backtest myself or when I do analysis on my own, sometimes I only color white candles and do it myself so that uh, I don't get biased on these candlestick colors. So if you haven't tried yet, you can do, you can try, turn all the, all the candles white and then see if we can trade it still. Yeah, actually I came up with the, with the idea of turning all the candles white when I was losing, losing and when I got so frustrated by this. Uh, so I was kind of going nuts, crazy and I decided, okay, why not turning all the candles white? And if I still cannot trade if I still can't make profits by all the white candles, then I should quit, was my feeling before, when I was losing. Uh, so I kind of pressure, I give the pressure on myself uh, by turning all the candles white, but still, um, still trying, to, uh, get, trying to make profits from the markets. And that's how I started to use uh, the white can white candles. But um, when I do live stream, you may not know which one is which one is bearish bullish, and that's why I turn only uh, bearish in blue, but uh, bullish still in white. So um, as long as you don't get biased on the colors on the chart, I think it's okay. It doesn't have to be white. Maybe it can be gray. It can be like any colors. 
but I don't recommend you to use some vivid colors like orange or red or green or blue. I don't recommend. Maybe light pink may be good, or light green will be good, but um, I don't I don't recommend you to use like uh, all the vivid colors on the candles, because unconsciously you may get biased in the market. Yeah, so that's a reason. That's a reason.